Okay. Welcome back to North and South. And we're taking a break from our renovation to take Andrew on his senior trip. If you've been around for a while, you know that before our kids leave home to start their lives, we take them on a trip with just mom and dad. And now that Andrew will be leaving in July to go serve as a missionary in South Africa, it's his turn. And we are taking him to England. If you're wondering how we choose where we take our kids, we ask them kind of the experiences that they're wanting and what they'd like to do on their trips, and then we help them choose a place that will fit that. We took Elijah to Iceland, we took Daniel to Mexico, we took Esther to France, and now Andrew to England. So I hope you don't mind taking a little bit of a break, but it was a great trip and we can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't slept in uh, No, we haven't hours. slept. We're but tired, folks. We're in England. And we're driving to Jane Austen's house. Woo! And yes. we're gonna get some lunch when we get to the town, I think. I'm assuming Jane Austen's house is in a town or yeah. a village. I actually right? researched a place to get lunch right next to our house. An inn built in 1600. Looks nice. We are gonna be pretty <laughs> loopy this day, aren't we? But you know what? I feel fine. How about you? This, That's feel, what, what I, really matters. I feel great right now. <laughs> so Mike is, <laughs> we have some caffeine, thankfully. And he's going to be driving a stick shift on the left, opposite side of the side. car on the opposite side of the road and already in the 200 yards since the parking lot i've been a little scared for my Megan life freaked out a couple times well he was like rubbing the curb with the tires hey, no i wasn't okay, well you were factually <laughs> factually speaking you were because i think okay. he, he's not exactly sure how to well, well he, yeah it's he weird was a big bus that was coming at him in dad's yeah. defense anyways we're going this is we'll our... be fine here we go watch this does feel wrong it's weird it feels very weird very weird. It feels like I so should wait, be driving. You made, a, you made a left turn, but you didn't have to cross a lane. No, left hand turns are right hand turns. I that was that was the hardest part of driving. I remember in Ireland was. Whoa, hang on a second. You might need your I hands. Can't really talk and drink I and drive. I didn't have the right gear. Anyways, did you just got honked at? Maybe. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. We're gonna head out to the country. We're gonna go out to the country. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, Michael, once again. Oh, Sorry, I gotta watch curb, those curbs. so close. <laughs> oh, okay. <gosh>. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. Only in England, folks. Did you see that? The, two, the people with their pony. Whoa, we got a pony in England? What? Are they riding a pony carriage? Wait a minute. That isn't the British accent. Partner, that is crazy, y'all. <laughs> Mike wants me to film everything, by the way. He's like, film this, this is, we're in England. <laughs> like, but it's just the airport and like the freeway. <laughs> this is probably because we're tired, but this is the GPS because Andrew has no data. It has, it's just lost. I feel like we're going through like um, theory of relativity thing. <laughs> Whoa, here it comes. <laughs> You're there. <laughs> Dad, Dad, go faster. We're about nine minutes away from Jane Austen's house and it's really pretty. And there was just a sign that said, welcome to Jane Austen country. Very pretty. Yes, it's very pretty. Look at it, we're coming into a village. We are on the street that Jane Austen's house is on. It's so beautiful here. It's so perfect. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, do you see that? There's oh, really? like, oh, there's like a vine growing across the whole house. Look how cute it is though. Look. Is that what we're reading? Yes. Dining wine cocktail. Okay, first of all, look at the pretty brickwork on that house. It's that so is pretty. pretty cool. Second of all, we need to go to the bathroom. And yeah. Let's go. And there's a thatched roof over there with a cute horse on top. And it's very adorable. The 
gray fryer. It's so cute. So cute. How can I help? Andrew, her house is right there. Jane Austen ate in here. She had to have. I mean, it's across the street. Let's go walk. Andrew's in love with Jane Austen, by the way. You mm can't. -hmm. Right there, that's her house. What books did she write while living there? Um, you know, I would have known that like 12 hours ago. You just said it when we were no walking idea. up the street. No, I Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and I think uh, one other maybe, maybe Persuasion. No, what's there's another really good 1809 one. to 1817. While living here, her huh. has published all six of her beloved novels. That's so cool. That is genuinely so cool. Right here. This is her house. We're wandering around the town of Chotton right now while we wait for our table because they didn't have room for us three yet. But we found this public footpath. That's pretty the way they did that. Yeah, these are pretty fences. This is fun. They're pretty cool. Man. Going. Public footpath. We should probably go back, but that looks beautiful. Mingle Down Woods. That's what this is. Her brother owned this, Megan. Jane Austen's brother owned oh, all this. Really? That's what this down sign down. says. Mingle Down Woods. It's a great name. Okay, we decided not to go to that cool old pub because it was like forever long. We can't wait that long. But look at the. We're gonna get to go do some more awesome things. Yeah, we don't want to be late for that. But look at this. All these teacups they came. That is so adorable. I got a peppermint tea. Stay warm. Got our paninis. It's our first real meal. Yep. And then we can go across the street and go in Jane Austen's house. We've had lunch. And now we're officially starting the Jane Austen tour. <clears throat> the Jane Austen house tour. First thing to look at is her donkey carriage, which that is so naturally. Adorable. Look at this. This is her donkey carriage. That's how she got her. That is so cute. I don't This is cute. This is the table that Jane Austen wrote on, which is crazy. It's so tiny. We are in Jane Austen's bedroom right now, which is just truly very crazy.
She would look out this window, Andrew. Okay, this is the fake house. Pretty so cool. It's just interesting to see how she just lived a normal little life, yeah? Yeah, like, she wasn't wealthy or... No, I mean, even her, her books, like, all the like, even reviews of them in there, it's just like, the people are like, yeah, they're, they're pretty entertaining. You know, wasn't, like, critically acclaimed or famous or rich or even, like, her... Like, she wasn't thought of as, like, this, like, grand genius. You know, she just wrote her books for her family. Her family liked them and she liked them and she lived in this little house and did, like, you know, made quilts and cooked and wrote books. And was beloved. Yeah, truly. Beloved her, by her family. Her family, like all of the stuff, they seemed to really, really love her. And seemed to, they thought of her as a genius, you can yeah. tell. but Which is way better anyways. We just came down to Jane Austen's brother's house, Chotton. We got some sheep here and the... Little lambs. Let's see, where are the little lambs at? Look at them. <coughs> They're cute. We're, we're more interested in the lambs than anything else. Perfect, look at this. It's so beautiful over there. Look at that beautiful graveyard. The and... church is amazing. We oh. should walk over there probably. We we're getting the tired, way? but... Can I we gotta push through. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. It's a little chilly, a little rainy. Look at this hand carved gate. Okay, so this is where Jane Austen's sisters. Pretty tree. Is it open? Oh, well, he's looking. Push. Okay, look at this. 750 years. What's that, Zach? 750 years of people working. All right, we have arrived at our Airbnb. It's, ooh, we gotta go. Yeah, we'll go. It's almost 10 after six, we're going. Okay, so we're exhausted, we had a long day. Yeah, it's almost 10 after six, we're going. Okay, so we're exhausted, we haven't slept yet. Um, except for like, you know, where you fall asleep for a minute, but 
we had, we, when we used, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. We have some friends that we lived by for nine months. Super cool people. And now, um, Stephanie, the wife, Stephanie and Doug, Stephanie works at Oxford. I think she's just here for maybe, a, I don't know what you call that when you temporarily work as a professor somewhere, because she's a professor. And they invited us to work, to work. They invited us to work for them so they can go on vacation. They invited us to go eat at the dining hall, the great hall at Oxford. So we gotta hurry over there. Like, you cannot be late. We might need to take an Uber. We'll be there at 24. Okay, so we're walking because I didn't want to worry about parking in an old town that's also a college town. Super cool. So it's beautiful down here. Yeah. Okay. We're here, we're eating with the Barclays, our friends from way back when. Let me show you this though. This. Yes. Okay, the Barclays have taken us on a quick little tour around. It's raining. A little bit, but this beautiful area back here. This was such a long, full, and amazing day that we forgot to end the video, but truly a special thanks goes out to the Barclays for taking us to Balliol College for dinner and showing us around the beautiful campus of Oxford. It really made it an incredible experience for us, but come back tomorrow. We have more adventures in England to share with you and we'll see you next time. Bye.